Show us where the valves are on the heart and uh, what the function is, and, uh, and, and give us a little education here, Dr. Elias. Yeah, so when you're looking at the heart, you want to break it down into structures on the left side of the heart, okay, and on the right side of the heart. The main valves that you want to be aware of is your tricuspid valve, which is here, okay, your mitral valve, which is here, and your aortic valve is here. So following the path of blood, you have a right atrium, which drops blood into a right ventricle through this tricuspid valve, and then it goes to the lungs, and then after that, it comes into the left atrium, which is not shown, and then that dumps blood from the mitral valve into the left ventricle, which then pumps blood out the aorta through the aortic valve to the rest of the body. Each one of these valves here can be dysfunctional or damaged with time, and that's why it's really important to use imaging to figure out exactly what's going on. And if you can picture putting in a valve in any one of these um, structures here or any device, you really need to know exactly where you're landing it and any of the structures around it, and that's why it's so important to have imaging guide you through those procedures. Okay. According to the American Heart Association, a aortic stenosis is one of the most common and most serious valve disease problems. So what exactly does stenosis mean? Yeah, so looking at this picture here, it's a great picture that illustrates calcium on the valve and fibrosis. The valve itself, you can see, is not completely opening, and because of that, you're putting a lot of stress on your body or the left ventricle. From there, you're going to develop symptoms such as shortness of breath or chest pain or even being passed out because you're not getting enough oxygen to the rest of the brain, which is one of the places that the aorta brings blood to. It's really important to evaluate these patients because this is one of the most treatable valve diseases that we have out there, and we can significantly impact patients' uh, quality of life <laughs> and bring them from a state where they're not doing so well and can't do their normal activities that they would like to do in the day, and then being back to the place where they can do activities that they would normally not be able to do.